this liquid is a fuel like no other. It reduces the climate impact of both heavy industries and transportation at the same time. And believe it or not, this fuel does not come from an oil field, nor does it come from agriculture, and no, it's not magic. I'm Alex Jordan, co-founder of Safplast Consortium and finalist of the Sky's the Limit Challenge. It's on this industrial site in Montreal where we're setting up our new pilot plant with the help of renowned experts like the manufacturer Zeton. It will be one of the most important carbon recycling plants in North America. South Plus is inspired by circular economy principle. On the one hand, we recover carbon dioxide from industrial smokestacks. This is collected directly at the source and preventing it from entering the atmosphere. On the other hand, we create hydrogen from water using renewable electricity. The CO2 and hydrogen are then combined in our plant to make fuel. It is easy to transport and easy to use. It is suitable for both aviation and automotive use without the need to change or modify existing engines. Our solution is actually the opposite of combustion. Instead of burning fuel to produce energy and emit CO2, CO2 receives energy to produce fuel. In short, we turn clean electricity into fuels. In doing so, our technology allows the reduction of 80% in carbon emissions compared to a conventional fuel. Safplast is turning pollution into solution, and it's local. Indeed, our pilot project, which we'll be producing in 2021, will be 100% Canadian. From CO2 to water to energy, all resources will be from Quebec. From carbon capture to fuel manufacturing, all operations will take place right here in Montreal. With this project, SAF Plus is paving the way to a new industry while making significant economic returns and making Canada a pioneer in this field while also reaching our ambitious targets as set by the Paris Agreement. Some talk about utopia. We like to talk about relentless work, research and results from ambitious and experienced team with the support of very strong public and private partners. We like to believe that the fuel of tomorrow will not come from the ground, but will be recycled from traditional industrial plants an excellent approach to making a strong circular economy. <laughs>